everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing good so as you'll see from the title of this video today i'm going to be doing a kind of a vlog style uh, why in a day day in a life type video i really like watching these types of videos it's really good to see what other people eat in a day and get some inspiration for recipes and meals that i could eat myself because i don't know about you but i always end up eating the same meals over and over and it gets really boring so it's nice to be able to see what other people eat and yeah get some inspiration from them so at the moment I'm eating around 1,600 calories a day, so I am in a calorie deficit, I'm looking to lose a bit of fat, nothing drastic, I'm not doing another bikini prep or looking to get shredded or anything, but you know I just want to lose a few kilograms before summer so I can feel a bit more confident in my body when I have to wear bikinis and shorts. So yeah, if you're on the same amount of calories or similar at the moment, hopefully what I eat today will give you some inspiration for some new meals or recipes that you can try. So the first thing I do when I get up in the morning, before I eat anything, I make sure I have a big glass of water um, with some multivitamins. So I have a dissolvable multivitamin and also some omega-3 vitamins, um, just because I don't really eat much fish, so I like to supplement that. And I also take a vitamin D. For breakfast at the moment, my favourite thing to have is a protein waffle. So it's really easy to make, as you'll have seen, it's only protein powder, an egg, uh, baking powder and some almond milk. Just mix together in a bowl and then you just put it in the waffle maker for a few minutes until it's cooked. And then on top I have some 0% fat Greek yoghurt with some raspberries which I've heated up in the microwave so it makes a really nice kind of compote to put on top. This breakfast is only around 200 calories which is great, um, loads of protein, hardly any carbs. So yeah, great if you're on a low carb, high protein diet like I am at the moment. I like to keep my calories quite low in the morning and then save some for later in the day because I'm one of those people who likes to sit and snack in front of the TV in the evening. I can't not have a pre-bed snack <laughs> as you'll see. So after breakfast, I'll have a big coffee and then just sit and watch um, YouTube or TV for a bit and then go for a walk. I like to go for a walk early in the day just to get some steps in. Um, and spread out my activity through the day so I'll go for a walk kind of earlier on and then I'll probably do my training later on and some cardio in the day just because I don't want to have to do everything later on and too much in one go. Around where I live in Norfolk there's some amazing walks in the countryside um, so I love just to get out and get some fresh air and sun to start my day. I think we've been so lucky with the weather in lockdown so far and I just like to get out and enjoy it while I can. So I had my breakfast about 8 o'clock this morning, it's now about 11 o'clock, so I'm now going to have a snack, so let me show you what I have. For my snack, I'm going to have some of these boundless nuts and seeds. These are the orange, ginger and maple flavour. These are really good, so if you haven't tried these already, then definitely try them. I'm also going to have some blueberries, so I've weighed out about 75 grams here. If you're in a calorie deficit and looking to keep calories low, then berries like blueberries, strawberries and raspberries are really good because they're really low calorie for the volume that you get. I'm also going to have one of these lemon and ginger teas. I just got this from Lidl, I think. I'm going through so much tea and coffee at the moment while I'm at home. It's ridiculous. I don't know if anyone else is. Can we all just appreciate how sad it is that my garden doesn't get much sun? Unfortunately, my garden is north facing, so it doesn't get much sun in the day, but... At least it stops me procrastinating and sunbathing all day. So I've just been sitting having my snack, watching a bit of YouTube. I watched Nisha Grimes' latest video, which was a what I eat in a day, coincidentally. Um, but now I'm going to do some work. Um, if you would have watched my first video, which was my fitness journey video, I mentioned that I'm studying to be a personal trainer at the moment. So I've got some coursework to do to send off to my tutor. So I'm going to sit and do that for a few hours. So I will see you guys at lunchtime. So I thought I'd just give you guys a little outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a t-shirt from Primark, I think it was, that just says believe in yourself on the front. I'm also wearing my favourite leggings from Sanctum. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just living in gym leggings and tracksuit bottoms at the moment. I literally can't remember the last time I wore jeans. If you like the look of these leggings, I'm actually an ambassador for Sanctum. And if you use my code, which is LEI10, you get 10% off all items on the Sanctum website. Hi everyone, it's lunchtime now, it's about one o'clock, so let me show you what I'm going to be having. For lunch I'm going to be having this sweet and crunchy stir fry. I'm going to be having half a bag, so 300 grams, which is only about 100 calories. 
stir fry is one of my favorite things to have for lunch at the moment it's just so quick and easy and also low in calories but high in volume at the same time and then i'm going to be having some chicken breast with it as well this is about 140 grams of chicken breast and then seasoning it with some soy sauce i'm going to be cooking using this fry light spray if um, you're watching your calories i definitely recommend cooking using a light spray because lots of oils can have high calories. I'm going to be having some of this sugar-free squash. This tastes amazing. It tastes like strawberry laces or sweets that I used to have when I was younger. But no added sugar um, drinks are really great for adding flavour, but not many calories to your meals. gets this or whether it's just me but after i have something savory i need to have something sweet so for my lunch dessert i'm having one of my protein brownies if you want to know how to make these just head to my last video where i showed you how to make these as well as some really yummy oat muffins they're only about 100 calories each and they're so chocolatey and gooey they're amazing i have them nearly every day Hi everyone, so it's about two o'clock now. Um, I've been about an hour since I had lunch. I'm now gonna get ready to do a workout. So I'll put some clips in of the workout now. I won't include the whole workout just because I'm doing a plan at the moment that's personalized to me by a girl called Abby, also known as um, OH Sports Therapy on Instagram, if you want to go and check her out. She does personalized strength and stability plans as well as Pilates classes and sports massage. So yeah, I'll leave her details below if you want to go and check her out. But I've been doing her plan for about six or seven weeks now since the start of lockdown and it's really helped me. I suffer with back and hip pain um, and like I said, it's really helped me. Um, the pain is definitely reduced. So if you have a similar problem, um, definitely go and check her out as it might be something that could help you as well. But I'll put some clips in of the workout now and I'll see you guys after. session followed by about 15 minutes of cardio it's really hot in the uk today so i was definitely sweating by the end of it i've just had a shower so and then i'm going to get my post-workout snack so let me show you what i have for my post-workout snack i'm going to have a protein shake so i'm going to have 20 grams of this bb supplements lean whey this is salted caramel flavor and it's so nice to have as a shake i'm also going to have one of these cinnamon and raisin warburton's thin bagels um, these are great if you love bagels like me, but you don't have many carbs. So these are only about 150 calories, I think. And then on it, I'm going to put some of this My Protein Powdered Peanut Butter. Um, I love this because it's peanut butter with pretty much the fat taken out. So it's pretty much all protein. So great if you love peanut butter. And then I'm also going to put on some of the Skinny Food Raspberry Jam. And this is amazing, it literally has seven calories, so great as well if you're on low calories. It's now about half five, so I'm going to start making some dinner. So let me show you what I'm going to be having. For dinner tonight, it's a pretty basic meal, to be honest. I'm going to have 200 grams of potato, 
I'm going to cut this up into chunks and then boil it for about 10 minutes and then put it in the air fryer. This makes it so nice and crispy but also fluffy on the inside. If you don't have an air fryer then you definitely need to get one. I'm also going to have some chicken breast. Um, I wouldn't normally have chicken twice in a day but I've got some to use up so I thought I'd have the rest for dinner. And then on the side I'm going to have some asparagus. I'm just going to cook this in the George Foreman grill. Um, just for a few minutes that makes it taste really nice on the chicken i'm going to put this all-purpose seasoning that i got from lidl i literally put this on everything it's so good seasonings and spices are a great way to mix up the taste of your food but you're not adding any more calories low calorie sauces are also a great way to add flavor to your food so tonight i'm going to be having some of this reduced sugar and salt barbecue sauce and also some lighter than light mayo they have next to no calories each, so like I said, they're a great way to add some flavour. Like I said earlier, after every meal I need something sweet. So for dessert, I'm going to be having one of these Hartley's 10 calorie jellies that I've made up. These are a lifesaver. I have them nearly every day and they're just so good when you're dieting. I've just been watching TV for the last few hours. It's about half past eight now. Like I said earlier, I do like to save some calories for last thing in the evening. So I'm about to have my last meal now. So let me show you what I'm having. For my last meal of the day, I'm going to have 25 grams of this popcorn. Popcorn is such a good snack because as you can see for 25 grams you get such a large amount and this is only about 100-150 calories so it's got so much volume for the amount of calories. I'm also going to have one serving of this low fat hot chocolate. This is only about 40 calories a serving and really satisfies my sweet tooth. So that's going to wrap up my full day of eating. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you got some ideas for meals that you could have yourself. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, it would really help me out and I'll see you guys in the next one.